All right, folks, welcome back to... What, I can't buy stuff here? I thought I could buy stuff here. It's a trade city. Hey, Winnie, how you doing? I was also told that there was a person of great talent and shit hanging around, so... I don't really care about learning the domestic skills, as I thought I made clear. Oh, there's Yan Rui. Maybe somebody already discovered him. There's Wei Yan. What's he doing working for Cao Cao? You're not changing sides, buddy. You're not working for a side. Guan Ping! Guan Ping! Guan Ping is at the gate and for some reason is not working for the force that his father is working for. My name is Zhou Yu. I'm aware of your reputation. Master Zhou Yu, you're quite famous. Why have you come to see me? You will find the answers you've been looking for in my lord's service. There is still much that I wish to do before serving anyone, including Jing Tsai. Even if he wasn't Guan Ping, famous for being the love interest of Jing Tsai in Dynasty Warriors 5 and never again after that, I'd still, he's a good officer, I'd still want to hire him. And now he's like my trusted friend. Ooh, where did he go? He's at the tavern. Getting drunk with his future buddy way on, on because they're going to become buddies when they found some kind of like alternate universe shoe. And this puts me in a difficult position because I really want to go to work for Cao Cao since, you know, my dad works there and all. And, all. and Cao, he, my dad works at Cao Cao, the physical location. I learned a lot from you about ways to make Jing Tsai happy. Oh no. Don't tell me you vanished from the city. Good, you didn't vanish from the city. What brings you here? Mm. I want you to join me and put up mad burners. I understand where you're coming from. It's not that easy for me to accept. Yeah, I think I can beat Guan Ping in a debate. I'm Joe Frickin' Yu. If you're not Sima Yi, you're not Zhou Ge Liang, and you're not one of those created officers with 100 intelligence and all the debate skills, I ought to be able to beat you. Do you realize what you're getting yourself into? I'm hoping that I'm getting myself into Jing Tsai's panties. Hey, that was my joke. Praise to the heavens and virtue towards men, such as courtesy. Okay, I guess. Your arguments just don't make any sense. Shut up. Oh no! Let me guess, you haven't really thought this out, have you? Shut up. Oh crap. <laughs> Uh, you honestly believe you could beat me? Suck it. I can now learn the skill Insight. Insight's a good skill, but unfortunately, you have to beat somebody who has that skill in a debate in order to use it, and it tends to be the people who have debate skills also have really high intelligence Christmas stats. So I set up a spy while I was here, because it would be silly not to. Zhu Huang is here! Here he is, everyone. Zhu Huang has arrived in this LP. It's an honor to meet you. I'm Zhu Yu. Here I am, Zhu Yu. Zhu Huang has finally arrived. Your abilities always impress me. We made us in our endeavors. Yes! We got Zhu Huang. It's, it's a good thing I just went ahead and observed a second time. Well, Lord Juji is getting ready to launch an attack. I sure hope he succeeds. Probably getting greedy looking for more officers now. I got Guan Ping and Zhu Huang. I got two Dynasty Warriors. Alright, so it's time to get out of here. I wonder if I can enter this city while it's being attacked. Because my armies will be there attacking it by the time I can get there. Yep. Well, let me go in while I'm in battle. So I'll just have to go home and uh, find some work for Guan Ping and uh, Zhu Huang. Zhu Huang, who I don't have a close friendship with because he joined me before I could even get one going. This is good stuff. And we 
we still got Jang Song out there. We need to be hired by Grand Ping. Grand Ping, you're all right. Yeah, it is pretty cool now that I actually exist in this game. Yes, sir. Leave it to me. Okay, you're gonna get ships going. Oh, later. Meantime, I still actually need to establish some new units. I should probably at some point check the city's population and make sure I haven't drafted it to death. Wow. Actually, I've drafted heavily from this city. It was at 200,000, now it's down to 50,000. I've drafted a quarter of the populace at some point or another. But we're getting pretty close to our goal, so we can probably keep going. I just need to make sure that I don't lose another massive army, that I take a little better care of it this time. Generally, having a huge army is the key to keeping the army, because uh, if your army is big enough, like, having full strength units in combat means they inflict a lot of damage, they end battles quickly. It's a real sliding slope. Once you start losing troops a little, you start losing them rapidly, because uh, you can no longer count on being able to crush your enemies before they have a chance to hurt you at all. If that makes sense. So, we need to get two more units recruited, and then our repair is kind of a problem. Our defense, I mean. There's no officers there. Why are there no officers in Wuling? Is, oh, because there, are, there must be the city that's attacking. I hope so, otherwise I just like totally messed up and didn't leave any officers there. There's so many thieves at night stealing Guanping. Good news, our forces defeated Manchong's troop. And oh, okay, so Manchong has been defeated. Um, it's too bad I didn't get a chance to go personally spare his life. Lord Joe Yu, I've come with a report from Lord Sun's uh, last streets. I commend you on dil your diligence. Of course, it was all me. Technically it was. Shuji is a... Uh, I put his city, his uh, orders for his city on conquer that city. Uh, Leon Shur attempted to do it. She was one of Sun Tzu's officers. Failed. Uh, Zhu Ji pulled it off. So it is technically, I did technically do it. But uh, since I wasn't personally involved, we haven't betrayed Manchong. So that's cool. And another message from Sun Tzu. Your hard work and effort has earned you the designation of Class 1. Congratulations. Prefect Zhuji of Changxi reports that the city has achieved its current policy and is waiting your next orders. And I'll give him Chai Sang. As a reward. Our new f now we have to attack Jingbei. Okay. Of course. Which is nice because it means that we we're not going to war with uh She Grimoth necessarily. And I got some more gold from uh old Sunshine there. Yan Yan managed to PR number one guy, which is kind of a surprise. Master Yan Yan, your service is here. Rocks the party that rocks the body. I know. Things are looking up, though. Our territory just looks a lot better once we rule Chai Sang again. Defense no longer our top priority. Okay, well, I need to go into council and, uh... You've got a prefect. Now this city does not... Oh, no! So I definitely have cities that don't have any officers in them, because I was... Okay, I guess I got confused. Leon sure was one of mine. So... 
can appoint a prefect. They're suggesting Zhao Kang. And uh, you guys also need a prefect. They're going to suggest Sun Chuan. Anybody else doesn't have a prefect? Say something now. Yeah, those cities that aren't on the front line, I don't think they really do that much. It's not like uh, the last game where they can produce a lot of goods and send it somewhere else. I think they just kind of hang out. So you guys are going to need some officers. Probably from Jiangling, since it has the most officers. I want to give away my cool officers and give Liu Jian, Yang Bo, and Pang Ji. How does that sound? You guys. Yeah, I really don't know what I'm expecting them to accomplish when I refuse to give away any officers who are actually good, because I just want to keep them for myself. Now I've got 13 officers, and you guys could probably use a couple more. Because you're going to be on the front line there, and that's kind of, kind of dangerous. So let's give you... Well, as much as I like Zhu Huang and making him say crazy shit, they need an officer over there who can actually raise an army. Although I prefer to hold on to Zhu Huang, and maybe they can have Yan Yan. Yan Yan was officer of the year last year, so I guess his reward is he gets kicked out. So now I've got ten officers. They have seven. So let's give them two officers from here. And that way these guys both have nine. No way. I don't want them to go to Hanjong. I want to take them from Hanjong. They will no longer be the kings of Hanjong. So you guys can get those two guys. Now I've got ten. You've got nine. You've got nine. And everyone else has between five and three. Matter of fact, anybody who actually has five probably needs to give one away. So we need somebody from Jitong to go to Wudu. Bujugan, you're up. And who else has a glut of officers? You got three. You got three. You got three. Four. Four. Three, four, three, four, three, four, three, four, four, nine. Okay, so other than our frontline cities, everybody's got between four and three. Our frontline cities have a lot more than that. Now we need to set city policy. Most of these guys should be on auto. You guys are on auto. You guys are on auto. You guys. I think they go back to auto if uh, you don't assign them anything specific. And they've because their policy was of course achieved. Your policy should be to finish off Liu Qi. Matter of fact, we'll give that to all these cities.
everybody's over here close enough to actually potentially do something about it. I might even want to think about spinning these guys off, some of these guys off into a separate district. But I'd lose control over them then, and they might start doing things I don't want them to do, like turning Shi Grimoth's fourth ho force hostile when I'm trying to concentrate on Cao Cao. Of course, taking out Shi Grimoth's force, I don't know how many troops he's got, but he's got officers that I wouldn't mind having, and uh, I'm not going to get them until uh, we get rid of his force. Certainly, though, Cao Cao is obviously the threat. Can't even tell how many troops he's got, because we'd have to spy on all of his cities to know, but... Yeah, he's pretty clearly the main threat. Once again, ignoring merchants. Let's chat with the fellas. And frankly, I just don't care that much about defense, although I should, because it's very important when uh, attacks happen and you're not there to participate. Crap, I just lost my mouse. Lost my mouse there. Let's use the touchpad when it's time to end this thing, which would be a pain, but I need to end it pretty soon anyway. But anyway, uh, what do we need more of? We need more of everything, but uh, trade is probably the thing that we're doing the worst in right now. So let's get over to the market. and uh, I did want to buy a nice gift for uh, Man Chong. You know, this is a token of my appreciation. Hey, Guan Ping managed to hire a dude. That's pretty cool. Now, I was just thinking, my class is one, which means I don't think I can be promoted any higher. So, in a way, I no longer care about doing what Sun Tzu tells me. Um, I'm as high a rank as I can get. I'm a viceroy. I can't become the ruler of the force uh, without betraying it and starting my own, which is not something I'm planning to do here. It just wouldn't be in line with uh, who Zhou Yu is. So yeah, I kind of don't care about whether I complete the orders in the time allotted. But um, I'm just thinking that it's quite a few cities left they want me to conquer, and it's and we're now it's fighting south side. We're not just beating up on Liu Yan anymore. As you see, they, they added to my deeds, but it doesn't say how many of the next class. I've achieved the highest rank. Now, our, uh, sadly, our... Um, eh, get two more bow units. I like bow units. Well, actually, let's see. What, what do we actually have? Two foot, four horse... And f five bow units. So that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Wait, what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I thought I had thirteen. Oh, there must be two that I can't recruit. Hold on. I've got another horse unit, another bow unit. Okay. So, what I've actually got is one, two, three, four, five horses, and one, two, three, four, five, six bows. So, I probably need to get two more foot units, actually. 
that way I've got five horse, four foot, six bows. Seems like a decent mix. I really don't like foot units that much, though. But, whatever. I just feel like I should have some of everything. Because the foot units... They, they can climb walls, which horses can't do. And bows have their limits as well. So, we're just going to keep on recruiting until we've got the biggest army in the history of everything, ever. Keep missing these guys. Yes, sir. Lord Joe Yu, will you please give me thousands and thousands of food? No. Lord Joe Yu, will you please invest money which will be promptly lost? No. Man, Joe Yu, you're a dick. I know. Now, wait a minute. What was going on up north of that troop? What is she Grimmeth up to? Did he just launch an unsuccessful attack on something? Fang Jair! Glad you got a chance to appear in this LP, Fang Jair. Ah, he's attacking my tank. And it would appear that Ma Tang is sending out some reinforcements. to give as a gift. You know, these are actually things I started out with. Master Lu's Chun Kui and the Mystical Mirror. Which, what does it do? Nothing. It's just a treasure. That's what I need to do. I need to find uh, the guy who spared my life and give him the Mystical, the mystical Mirror. Man Chong, I think it was. I should at least talk to him while I'm here. Well, that's deep. Whatever he said. I wasn't really paying attention, though. Mistress, I ordered you to do something. You don't order me a mistress, that's like, you know, a master, but a chick. But I guess you can order me if you want to, because you're handsome, show you. Yeah. And we are getting closer to breaking the game with our desire to recruit everybody in the history of the world. What is this city doing for population? Oh, wow. Okay, we've got to give this city a rest. Once we've got our army to full strength, we've got to stop recruiting from this city for a little while. In the meantime, though, I want to find... Uh, is it Manchong? Was he the one who spared our lives? Yeah. And he's in Juchang now. So I'd feel better if we gave him some treasure. He's hanging around in South South City. 
Yeah, Shi Grimoth's army has defeated Montang's army and taken Xi Ping. See if he can press the advantage this time, Shi Grimoth. Somebody's hiding in Shang Yong. I should probably remember that. Hey, you know strangers. Yeah, shut up. Let me show you that you're a dumbass. Yeah, whatever. Oh, that's kind of sucks for me a little bit so far. I'll try harder next time. Sucks. I could use the thing command because I'm not getting any new. Uh... Can't do that, can't do that. Alright, fine, I don't think here. I am really in danger of losing this thing, which kind of sucks for me. Damn. heated debate. Are we all brothers here? I must admit, I must admit we are all black guys. <laughs> brothers. See what I mean? really made me work for that one. Sometimes my brilliance scares even me. Although not this time, because that really wasn't that impressive. Eleven Street wins. Mostly over guards. I'm Zhou Yu. Handsome Zhou Yu. I like to go up to dumb people and convince them I'm smart. Apparently I also like to go up to really untalented musicians and tell them I'm a talented musician. This is how I do. How's man charged? It's outside. I've never... My name's Zhou Yu. I'm very glad to meet you. Guard sees him! I mean, oh, hey. I'm glad to meet you. My name is Satsu. King of Wei proved his ability as a commander of cavalry in the suppression of the Yellow Turbans. After Dong Zhuo's death, he wandered the land to help build the foundations of the Wei Kingdom, possibly named Emperor Wei Lu. No kingdom would stand without good government. Strength of the kingdom's resources is the first step towards victory. So now we're acquainted with Satsu. But what I really want to do is uh, meet Dong Chang. I'm not sure where he is. Probably recruiting troops or something. Let's chat with a bunch of these guys. Mishu. He's actually he's willing to talk to us. That's nice. Dion Man, the son of Dion Wei. So you're a message show you I've heard about. My name is Tsao P. Would you like a tutorial on being a douchebag? I don't want to talk to you. There's Man Chong. Didn't expect to see you, you brave master. Show you. I thought I'd killed you. See, this has no special effect. It's just a treasure. This item is called Mythical Mirror. Please accept it. Really? Yeah, I'll take it. No, you don't need to thank me. It's worth less than my life is, at least to me. <laughs> Formerly named Lee, he formed his ways after dreaming that he was holding up the sun, became a strategist for Tsao Tsao, the recommendation of Jun Yu, a tall man of great ability and height. My name is Zhou Yu, I'm very glad to meet you. So you're the master Zhou Yu I've heard about. I'm glad to meet you. I'm the god of oh, yeah. 
Hey, your son's working for me. Yeah, shut up. I don't care about that at all. My name is Joe Yu. I've got a delicious eyeball tasty here. Look, you never did that Let's Play of StarCraft you were talking about. Starflight, rather. So nobody knows what eyeball tasties are. That's from Starflight 2 anyway. So, anyway. Please don't make jokes about me eating my eye. I'd rather not waste the time talking to you, because you're clearly an asshole. <laughs> well spotted, Joe Yu. Or, uh, Jihadun. I'm amazed you were able to spot that when your eye is so, you know, not there anymore. While I'm here, let's just chat with these guys a lot. I just feel like we should chat these guys up. And I'd love to ch chat up uh, Man Chong. Mostly because if we ever capture him in battle, I'm going to need to offer him a job. And it would be really fun if he actually accepted. Instead of just, uh... I'd have to spare him. Not like I'd execute him if he didn't accept. But I'd like the idea that, uh... I'd like the idea that we'd be like in... in you know, as thanking him for for sparing our lives, that we get him a job. <laughs> Not to mention, Guan Yu really has no business working for Wei. It would be pretty awesome if I could actually get him to switch sides. And, um... So that's how I really need to consider getting the guards to remove me from the city so I can't just go around chatting up all of his officers and trying to get them to join my force. He's not in the mood. It's like, look, I like the mirror and everything, but leave me alone. Hey, I got a spy in the city. In the city. Uh -huh. Everyone's chilling out and having a drink. Sure, let's get drunk. Let's become the new Sworn Brothers. I'd just been thinking I wanted to get a drink with you, and also to have you join my force. Let's do this again soon. Now we're close. That's pretty awesome. Lady Luan Kui has succeeded in employing Master Yang Yang. Nice. Sima Hui. I apologize, but I don't really care. I really don't feel like talking to him, even though he can give me special skills and shit. South Peas. Cao Cao's troop and Cao Cao's army is advancing towards Chai Sang of our force. Chai Sang is one of mine, isn't it? Yep. Crap. Really don't have a lot of time to, um... To waste. I gotta get back to the city. Lead out a force to try to help with the defense. Because they may be in over their heads. Alright, folks. Let's go ahead and save the game. Why not? I'm losing all track of where I've got save game slots. Now, as you can see, I'm fumbling around with the touchpad. We're going to try and hold the city. Um, it's a real shame we couldn't hire away Guan Yu. Because he'll almost certainly be part of the attack force. When we come back, folks, uh, we'll have attempted to help with the defense of the city. Because I have a feeling it's not going to be able to save itself. Uh, anyway, this is Mysterious JG. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.